Hello guys, <coughs> in this tutorial I will try to uh, explain you how to use the AeroFB wheel with the manual TDC and uh, we will play with real navigation and we will play also with uh, realism 100% okay? For that you need to install the Darwright interface version 6.4 you need to have the ma uh, manoscope uh, you can find this uh, on the uh, uh, dark right interface uh, the same uh, mod package okay and also you need uh, the real navigation uh, version 6.4 by the same dark right okay so for that I will go here option and uh, I will go I'll put realistic 100% oh, okay apply yes and I will choose a mission from here okay let's choose this one for example okay so see you in the game guys so here we are in the game okay before uh, to start your plotting you must to be at uh, zero speed is very important this okay so we are uh, zero speed submerged at uh, 30 meters okay and our heading is like uh, 355 degrees so I will use the navigator first because I'm using the real navigation and I will ask the navigator to calculate my position okay now I will draw my heading I will take the ruler and here is my heading is 355 degrees so I will put my I will put the ruler here and I will go like 355 355 it's here you see oh no no 345 sorry so here it's 355 okay so this is my heading okay perfect now I will go to the periscope depth in this tutorial we will find all the data only uh, using the arrow fb wheel so uh, this is the most uh, immersive method in the uh, time of the uh, 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 in the time of the submarine or the submariner who used only the air of EB for the visual contact and also they used the attack disk so uh, the method that I we will use uh, usually like uh, to Mars and uh, something like that this was not to use it then okay so uh, if we have the chance because because of the models of the from the subsim page now we can really use this method in the game because Tonilo Coyote uh, made the uh, CFG files from the real dimension of the ship and uh, the Darite used these files in uh, his interface so uh, if you use the Darite interface you will have very accurate results also the Manoscope made a very good scope mod that uh, used uh, the marks from the AeroFB very accurate okay so uh, if we have all this data and also the Darite interface ha has the AeroFB disk so I, I, I think uh, all of us must to use this method okay it's very simple I, I will show you so I will take the periscope and I will lower the scope to search for the ship okay this is my underwater for movie <laughs> okay so as you can see <laughs> I can see underwater better than outside <laughs> I use this version of the mod when, li when I'm doing movies <laughs> we play we play realistic 100% but the underwater <coughs> is not <laughs> realistic okay so here is the ship okay so I will zoom in and uh, I will go here just a second I lose some tricks uh, only by explaining you okay you can play realistic in your game but I will use those little few tricks uh, tricks I will cheat a little bit <coughs> <coughs> only to to make you understand better okay so tdc it's on perfect so i'll go here i will press space and i will go here at the officer and i'll choose follow selected target and i will go here and i'll choose identify the ship so he identified the ship like uh, liberty cargo so i go here toggle chart visibility i will open the sound it's fighter and i'll search for this liberty Liberty, okay, Liberty ship. Ta -da -da. 
it, to be more immersive uh, immersive the game you uh, it, it was suppose you don't use this so you can just open the sound look at the picture and try to identify by yourself the the ship you see this this ship uh, has three cut arcs here one two three is the same picture okay <coughs> perfect so we have this ship here we we need to know so you must take note two values for here we need to know the mast height of the ship and the length of the ship so we take note the mast height of the ship is 26.2 you see here okay perfect the length of the ship is 140.9 so we will take 141 okay so we have these two values mass height 26.2 and the length of the ship is 141 okay so we keep this in our mind and we can drag anytime this if we forget th those values okay so first we put this here okay and we will drag we, I'm going here and I just press arrow FB, okay? So I have my arrow FB here. So you must do all your calculation in real time, okay? So you can use a little trick here because you c you need your bearing, okay? So because you need your bearing and what we need? We need to count the vertical marks and the horizontal marks, okay? And w after we finish the uh, the counted, we must to 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 uh, to know when those marks are relating at this bearing so i can do like this i can pause the game <laughs> and this is a trick and i can do all my calculation and do my plotting okay or i can do this trick so what i'm doing i i just count here and i see here i have like on the top i have one two three four okay so i have four point uh, one four four okay so vertical i have four marks and horizontal i have uh, 7.1 here plus 7.1 uh, here so i have 14.2 okay so w after i did this i just press uh, very quick f okay not follow selected target and i i know at the bearing 57 i had uh, four marks uh, on the vertical and 14.2 on the horizontal okay so this you can deal you can do like this and this is very immersive is realistic you, you don't cheat but to explain you better i i will cheat a bit and uh, i will do like this i will pause the game okay so right now i, I will pause the game and i will count the marks okay so is this is the arrow fb disk okay so first i will uh, draw my bearing my bearing that i see the ship we need to, to find this to put in our TDC, we, we need to find the bearing, we need to find the range. Uh, after we will find the range, we can find the angle and bow, and after that uh, we, we will find the speed of the uh, ship, okay? So first step, bearing. Bearing, as you can see, it's here. Bearing is uh, given by our periscope when we put on the ship. So our bearing is like... Uh, 56 degree okay so i go here and i will draw the 56 degree okay so from here where is my heading okay until here okay and i will go 56 degree you see 55 56 here so this is uh, the bearing okay now i i must find the range okay so uh, how i find the range you remember the mass height of the ship i think you remember huh? the mass height of the ship is 26.2 okay so first i i count the marks on the horizontal line so i have one two three four marks and let me see I put so I have like four marks point four point four point one okay so four point one okay so it's here it is the most uh, high part of the ship and I will say maybe it's four point two you can do some errors uh, is normal because you cannot see la clear like a computer or like crystal <laughs> So it's 4.2. I will take 4.2. Okay. So uh, 
horizontal marks I will note here it's 4.2 marks okay from horizontal so I will search on the, the inner ring here on the inside part of the ring you see here I have the inner ring and I will search where is 4.2 and I will put 4.2 here on this uh, uh, marker black marker here okay so I just put my mouse and I will uh, zoom until I will have the 4.2 there pam 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 pararam you see here I have almost 4 point so here I have 4 4 4.2 4 4.6 4 4.8 4, 4 no just a second 2 4 6 8 10 yes so 4.2 is right here you see here 4.2, 4 4.6, 4.4, 4.6, 4.8, 5. So here it's my 4.6. I put it on the mark line. Okay, this is the first step. So first step, you you count the marks, and you put uh, the uh, uh, the ring from the middle. You put uh, the in inside value to be like here. Okay. Now, what uh, we we said is the the uh, the mass height of the ship is 26.2 okay so 26.2 I go here come on on the this out uh, outer ring the ring from from outside and I search for 26.2 so I have here 25 so here I have 26 27 28 29 30 you see so here I have 26 and here I have 26.2 you see here so here and where is 26.2 I have 25 